The great American race at NASCAR's signature track, Daytona. Forecast for partly cloudy skies in the mid to high 70s, a little warm. The green flag drops at 129 Eastern. Alan Bestwick now with more from Daytona. David, thank you. Our ESPN Pit Studio right alongside Victory Lane at Daytona where somebody's going to collect the Harley Earl Trophy in just a short while. Inside the studio, Rusty Wallace, Ricky Craven, and Dale Jarrett to keep us posted throughout the day. We'll hear from them in a second. First, off to the Sprint Cup Garage to hear from Mike Massaro and Marty Smith on the latest goings on there. Mike, you're first. Allen with his thrilling nationwide victory yesterday afternoon. Tony Stewart picked up his 16th Daytona win. That moves him into a tie for second place with Bobby Allison on the Daytona win list. He's now second only only behind the great Dale Earnhardt. Now, he qualified, or he finished 12th, I should say, in his qualifying race on Thursday, but I spoke with his crew chief, Darian Grubb, this morning, and he said, don't be fooled by that. We're very confident. We've got a great race car, and that race we felt like if we couldn't win, we were going to be conservative. That was the case. They're going to be very aggressive today, however, looking for a drafting partner. That will be the key. Grubb says if we can get the right guy to help push us, we'll be the guys in victory lane, Marty Smith. Thanks, Mike. When it comes to respect among racers, no one's held in higher regard than Mark Martin. Martin's tried 26 times to win this Daytona 500 and failed. I spoke to his crew chief, Lance McGrew, this morning, and he told me that is in every single crew member's mind as they prepare the car this morning. That respect that Mark Martin has among his peers is what is in their heads. They want to make sure that they are the group that sends Mark Martin to Daytona 500 victory lane today. Alan? All right, gentlemen, thanks. Five and a half hours from the green flag. The place is already teeming with people <laughs> as drivers on the morning of your biggest race. What was your favorite thing? What was your least favorite thing? Uh, my favorite thing that I was in the Daytona 500. That really had me pumped up, guys. I mean, to get down to Daytona and be able to compete down here with the best of man just had me going big time. But my least favorite thing was the nerves, worrying about whether my car was going to run, whether it was going to handle. And probably the number one thing that drove me completely crazy was all the pre-race activities, man. I just wanted to get in the car and go run because I was ready at that point. I wasn't ready for distractions. Yeah, I lived for race day morning and the pros you wake up with a prospect of being winner at the end of the day. Now, as you said, Rusty, the nerves and that's a component of the five or six hours it, you had to wait. I did not like waiting on race day. If your car was good, you were relaxed, ready to go. If your car was bad, you thought too much about the things you should have fixed. And then if it rained, it compounded everything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think we're all kind of along the same lines. It was that nervous energy that you woke up with. What were you going to do with all of that time, trying to get rid of all of that and, and get to that time that you really were waiting for, which was the favorite thing, that you were in the Daytona 500 with an opportunity to go showcase your talents with for yourself and your team. So it was a great day. It was just trying to get to the race car, get inside, and do your job.